Are you good now? Did you fix your error of your ways? Yes, it's fixed now. Alright, let's go back to... So what happened? Hold on. Where, what does what it say? Friday? Yes. It's Friday. 4.30, we got 30 minutes till close of business. And um, this is pretty much what we do every day. That's what we stand out and hang out. And don't ship your stuff. And hang out on boats and shit with James Yeager. Actually, we were at Yeager's place today. We were at Yeager's place I get a text today. from Yeager that says, Can I put this in your burn pile? In the bonfire pile, and I said, "Sure." What is it? And it's followed by five minutes later a picture of two wooden shelving units that are like one by twelves. I'm like, cool. I said, "Do you need us to?" I have a truck hooked up already. Do you want me to send some guys? And he said, "That would be awesome." And I'm thinking I'm getting two shelves. And we took we had the big trailer, fucking 25 yeah. feet, gooseneck. We get there, and that motherfucker had a 40 by 40 steel building full. There were some fucking thousand pound framed up walls and shit in there. My guys went over there with chainsaws and cut that shit up. We brought over four, five trailer loads so far. Five trailer uh, loads and yeah, literally just tripled the bonfire pile, which which is awesome. I mean, and we right. help and we help James. He's got a um, a CrossFit or you know a powerlifting dude or something coming into town. Uh, Fight Fit, this class they do tomorrow. So. His guys were fucking just scurrying all over the place just to clean up because there's a bunch of dudes coming into town for this. I guess the guy, I don't know who he is, but he's a, he's a pretty big deal, I guess. So we got all that shit out, or, or the majority of it, and then our guys went over with saws, big saws, and cut the rest up so that it was manageable to get it even on the trailer. And um, we'll get that Monday or so, I don't know. But So what what just happened? So I'm in the bathroom taking a piss, and Babyhead walks up behind me. And just, he's staring at me. And he just walks into the stall. I go to wash my hands, and he's sticking his head out of the bottom of the stall. I look back at him, and he just looks me dead in the eye, and he's like, I'm watching you. And he just sits there with his head at the bottom of the stall. You know, there's piss all over that floor. I was on the 2 by 4 On the 2 by 4 But I've seen you do that at public bathrooms at truck stops and shit. Uh -huh. Boogers, too. First time I've ever done it. First time? Were you... What about when you're at the pl the place with the glory hole? <laughs> Explain the glory hole to us. What's wrong with you? Are you alright? You okay? Yeah. You alright? Explain like it to us. us. Explain the glory hole. No, I've already done this on video. Have you? The yes. glory hole? Okay, go inside. I'm already explaining it. You're done now. You'll know. When we're doing a video, you just go with the video and do what you're told. Yeah. I don't even know how I explained it anyway. Well, just explain it what you think it is right now. There's a gun There's a gun blog or a, a podcast. They do a, a teleconference thing. And they have... Who's coming out the hatch? Come here. Yeah. Yes. Get over mean? here. No. You dump Not you. Your head out first. So they, ha they have no. like 20 no. questions they want to ask me. And they sent them to Dakota. They said, hey, do you think John would do this? And to go to say, yeah, if you got your shit together, he, he might would, but you need to know what you're going to ask him beforehand. Like, John, I don't I don't talk on the phone. Like, I don't call anybody on the phone, ever. If you want to talk to me, it's an email so that I don't have to talk to you. I can just answer your question and be on it. That's why I text. So they had a list of questions they wanted to ask, and I looked at Jeff. Jeff was reading them to me at lunch, and I said, you know what would be funny is if we just shot a video asking the questions and we had Sebastian answer, but not not giving him the answer Sebastian just answers answer them the way from, he thinks from his perspective answer. so I think once a week we're going to do a question and answer time with babyhead so if you guys have some <laughs> questions just title it in your email question for babyhead ask the questions as though you're asking me or anybody within the company I guess I guess say who you would want to ask the question of but it will be answered by babyhead from his perspective, so there's no telling what the fuck <laughs> coming out of that. No glory hole. No glory hole. Uh -huh. That'll be the first time. We have glory hole stickers <laughs> being made. You can pack, you can they'll come in packs of five. You can put them up at your local truck stop. Your favorite, you know, add it, put it next to the real glory hole. <laughs> and one will be uh, a picture. It'll say it has to be glory hole, and it'll be a picture of a, a penis. One will be a picture of the combat cock. One will be Lance. <laughs> I don't know what we're going to do for the other two yet, but we'll do something. Um, the dick man. What? The dick man. Penis, Penis plant. Curtis had, Curtis was, Jeff's like, put your gun away. 
and his gun's always out. And he's had on, I said, do you have a belt on? Because his pants are real loose. And he, he had on purple underwear. And I go, nice purple underwear. And uh, somebody said briefs, and I go, dick vent, the hole in the underwear. And yeah. Curtis goes, well, I wear my underwear for three days, and then I turn them inside out, and I get another three days. And I go, yeah, and if you turn them around backwards, you can get another six days. Three, three one way, and then three inside out. And he goes, yeah. Yeah, like he actually does it. <laughs> and he goes, then that the hole's towards the back. I go, the dick vent. I go, you know who probably uses, out of all of us, all the dudes in this building, there's one motherfucker in here who uses the dick vent. And he points at Nick, the new guy, Dakota. And I thought, Tyler. <laughs> Tyler's just fucking weird enough to use the dick vent. Dakota's like, no, you have to, because I carry a gun. I go, yeah, go in a fucking bathroom stall. Like everybody else that carries a gun. Right. He goes, no, that way I can just, I can pee and I don't have to undo my, my belt. The dick vent. The dick vent. I knew it was going to be him. I have not used the dick vent since I was probably in fourth or fifth grade. Since maybe. I wore briefs. And I haven't <laughs> worn briefs since then. No. I wear briefs. I wear briefs because my, my shit. Just gets caught. Right. I hate fucking boxers. I gotta wear the longer boxer briefs. I, I don't like boxer briefs. I wear fucking briefs, but yeah. I don't use the fucking dick thing. <laughs> Anybody? Anybody? Anybody else? What do you think it's really there for? I don't know. Probably for that. You could keep a cookie in there. A cookie? <laughs> or, a, or a piece of pepperoni. <laughs> pepperoni. Pepperoni. Yeah, that's a good idea. A dick oh, pepperoni. A nugget pocket. A nugget. Oh. Feels sweaty. So we made um, oh, yeah, the we made this bag. I made a gray one some time ago, and uh, I just wanted to do something. You, you just fucking don't want I wanted to do something multi. Yeah, no, those are one. Those are one-time release fucking yeah. Cobra buckets. Okay, yeah, one time. So um, I wanted to make one in multi-cam black with some red accents. The guys seem to like that. So we built this one, and I cut out some cocks and the Velcro, and just changed a few things I didn't like on the other bag. These are all, um, we're not selling these. They're not going on the website ever. We'll build them maybe for some giveaway stuff, some contests, some auctions, shit like that. If we put them on the site, there might be one or two. They'll be very expensive. Um, they're Velcro lined. So you can put our mesh pockets um, or cards in there. They're Velcro lined front and back. They're Velcro lined inside on the sides. This is a uh, this is the original pattern set for my E&E bailout bag. There's, I don't know, maybe six, seven hundred of those floating around. Um, a lot of them went to Japan. And originally I had elastic loops here. So this was set to hold a uh, M3 Surefire flashlight with or without the turbo head. That's a big, tall um, Surefire light back when they were doing all the incandescents before the uh, LEDs. And then I made this one a slot so we can put a piece of kydex in there keep it rigid hold it shape um, it is somewhat rigid already so if you added something to the base of it the sides would stand pretty good um, a lot of guys you know guessing what this is we call it the m, -M the v me -view. bit me view me bit you it stands for something we're not going to tell you what that is shut up Shh. the fuck God is wrong with bless. you bite your fucking tongue right now you better bite your tongue and show me. Bite it. I am. Go inside. He said I am. Bite your tongue or go inside? No, you better make it bleed. Bite your tongue. Just make it bleed. Slap yourself. Harder. <laughs> that hot is not very Which hand are you? Right. Right hand? Slap yourself like I would slap you. You're next. What are you laughing about? <laughs> <laughs> so... The other bag had a short handle, which we can, you know, do. Um, I just put two Cobra, but I don't, I, when I do uh, buckles, a lot of bags I do don't have shoulder straps, because I don't like to single point because the bag kind of flips, so I'd come up with this assembly. It just carries it evenly. Um, a lot of dudes will talk shit, go, what the fuck do you need all those Cobra buckles for? You don't. Um, just like you don't need half of the shit that you guys want. Right. You guys with those 10 AR-15s don't need fucking 10. Well, Jeff would disagree with <laughs> You need 10. Um, then we made a bag today, which so happens it'll hold a five-gallon bucket. That was just 
by chance, but it's a drawstring bag. I'm just kind of playing with the sizes. Um, be a good rope bag, gym rope or whatever. Um, put a helmet, you know, like a, a base helmet or something. You might be able to fit a motorcycle helmet in here, I don't know. Um, drawstring bag. It gets considerably smaller when you draw it. I had built it with, with like, you know, a thousand rounds of nine and, um, you know, some Ear Pro and shit like that, just kind of from the truck to the range or whatever. 12 gauge. 12 gauge, you put a shitload of fucking shot shells in here for ski or trap, whatever. But it uh, has two handles. As you see, patch field for Velcro. It's got the black label SOE label on there. Um, nothing inside. This drawstring uh, piece flips up just like so. And then it'll fold down in flat. Some guys use it as a lunch bag, I guess. I don't know whether we'll build these or not. I don't know if the size size is going to change. I just wanted to build something and at break, which was, what time was break? 2.30? Mm -hmm. Yeah, 2.30. So I started messing with this right when they went on break and finished it, I don't know, maybe an hour later. Um, I don't know what we'll do with this. I was just showing you guys. Um, we'd all thought of different shit. Like, I think you could probably put two human heads in here. Um, you can put a bucket in there to carry like fish heads. Mm -hmm. um, chum. Huh? Your chum. What would you carry in here? Basketball. There you go. That's what twice. That's yeah. two basketballs. That's two. Who the fuck you don't even own a basketball? <laughs> That's two <laughs> basketballs. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> so what you're saying is so what you're saying is you're gonna use that bag to sneak a basketball out of school. Yeah. Good. What would uh, you do with it once we don't even have, we don't have no concrete? I just wonder if my helmet will fit in there. There you go. Go get it. I'm going to. Basketball. Mainly, I just want to show off. My Cody head. walked up and goes, "You should make a basketball bag." And I said, <laughs> "I said he'd carry a soccer ball." There's a company called Baller. It's on Facebook. It makes some really cool um, backpacks. They have their, some shoes, luggage. Um, it's it's kind of uh, hexagon, um, like the soccer ball patches that the soccer balls are made of. Um, it just looked really neat. And it kind of caught my eye, and I, I had followed them on Instagram for quite some time before I even it dawned on me that it was soccer shit. Um, picked them up off of uh, Billionaires Club or um, Luxury Lifestyle. That's where I saw them guys posting that shit. I find a lot of stuff that we, you know, guys we do business with and shit from those sites. Um, but check it out; it's just neat shit. I'm not saying go buy it, but but look at it. You know, you might find something there you're interested in. They've got some good shots and. I don't know who runs the company, but I'm guessing the background of whoever it was came from the soccer industry. Dump pouch. What about dump pouch? You could use it as a dump pouch. It's a lot of mags though. It's a shitload of fucking dumping. <laughs> dump box. Um, we got some shirts. He has a, um, actually it's too late for the pre-order on his new shirt. He has one that says, uh, it's the quad um, lenses on the monocular. It says lights out motherfucker or five seconds to lights out or something like that on the back. These are his, uh, if you didn't buy his um, mystery box, this is what came in the mystery box. I wear a medium shirt, and I don't know if these just ran small or he sent me chick shirts. Because when I put it on, it was fucking really small, like yeah, child small. It like belly shirt. Um, this is a large, so I don't know if anybody else ran into that, or maybe Mark was just fucking with me. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of good. Look at that. Look at that. You put a head and a helmet in there. Yeah. You have mud all over this. Razor. I'm gonna wash it off. Yeah, don't don't use your clothes face on the razor. It was cold that day. Uh, shit, yeah, it will. It will hold it. Obviously we didn't design it for that, but there's another use for it. I mean Bricks. Bricks? Yeah. That's for you to hold on. You couldn't even carry a bag this size full of bricks. You don't carry a full bucket of gravel. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's gravel bucket. I forgot all about that. You're welcome. You're on a special bag. For graveling. It's like grappling, but with gravel. <laughs> that icon helmet? Huh? Yeah. Who else is in there that would wear a piss flap in their pants? Who else? Dakota's in there. Uh, I wonder if Philip. Philip won't be in the video. Yeah. If he was, he'd be. Yeah. He'd just stay. <laughs> he just. Yeah. He might not even play on him. Wear underwear. 
<laughs> but she has to look chick. That's, yeah. a, that's a solid yeah, guess right there that he doesn't wear any underwear. Yeah. Go get, go get Nick the new guy. Okay. Nick. Are you going there and bully him or something? He's coming. What are you counting down? Send me along with Texas. Mm -hmm. Okay. You take I'll, the longest time. the time it would take you. I have to take my shoes. You change your shoes. Yeah. You use the piss flap? Cockman, yes. Piss man. Yeah. Why? Because I don't want to undo my belt because I got a gun. If I don't do that, all my shit drops to the floor. Don't want my shit all over the floor. Are those beautiful boy pants? So no, 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 they're not. Demonstration. You ever put a hammer in that loop? Uh, I have, yes. I'll bet he does. I'll bet he fucking gets in the car and puts a hammer in there. <laughs> no. Uh, but, so I don't want all that shit to drop out. So all you gotta do is unzip your flap, grab in, and snake it out. Grab in and snake it out. Yeah. Like you gotta go grab in for yours? Yeah. Do you use a shoe weed? No. Because you, you have to get your hand up under the cock vent and grab it and then, and, and then pull it free so you don't piss on all your, all your shit. It would deflect my, if I pulled my cock through that and pissed, it, the fucking piss vent would deflect my stream. You need a heavier cock so that doesn't happen. Hey, saying her cock can't happen. Yeah. Mm. Take it with the cock tail. Yeah. Right? yeah. All right. Got anything else? It's been raining. They pulled a shitload of roots out of the top, leveled that all off up there by those water cubes, and then it started storming. It's supposed to storm all weekend, so we can't really do any outside shit. It's mm -hmm. Got a bunch of posts in. We got a few more corner braces to do, and then is that Bob? That's that big goat. He's trying to get up there with those little ones. Yeah, just idea that. Look at him snowball. Yeah. You got an idea? Yeah, if you, uh, when you, like, you know how when you duck something, like, uh, duck something, you put the sack over their head? That's what I yeah, said it was. It's a prisoner. Yeah, that's what I did the main. Yeah. Yes, he did demonstrate on pilot. That's what the drawstring's there for. Just got guide handles so you can pull them around. You can put it under there, so you gotta jump out of the airplane with him. So just fly, fly off. <laughs> All right. Is that it? You realize when we turn this off, we're going back to work. You want to just keep talking? You got anything? Good. Yeah. I hate to think that out of eight hours, you had to work a whole three hours today. Yeah. Yeah, I worked all eight hours. All right. Turn that shit off.